Cocoon battle. Mission complete. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, where, in case you can't tell, I may have screwed the pooch just a little bit. It seems that I full screened it and I forgot that OBS tends to have a problem with that for some stupid reason. So my recording completely corrupted, and as a result, I'm going to go through a mission that I already beaten because... Why not? Damn it! You've been spotted by the guards. Take them out before they take you out. You got it, boss. Or Miller. I'm technically the boss, but I keep treating him like he's the boss. Anyway, I've still got the tranquilizer sniper rifle and the shoot shotgun if they come close. Which, trust me, I know from experience, because I've literally just played it before. They will. They will come close. So believe it or not, a shotgun in a sniper battle is actually good in this case. Kinda. And there it is, the Peace Walker itself. Perfect. Perfection. Oh yeah, those robots are also gonna be a problem. Yeah, did I mention that? Well, now I did. There's Let's no go ahead and switch for them first. Snake. Wipe out the enemy. Move on. You got it, sir. Just give me a minute. Once that robot gets close to me, we'll I'm taking it out first. Just because you can't see them. Doesn't mean they're not there. Got it. Understood, my man. But that robot is gonna be my first priority. Okay. I probably could have held out until it got a little closer, but meh. It's not necessary. Damn it. They move around fast. Or at least they move around at some level. That makes him hard to pin down. Also, it doesn't help that I don't know how to aim to save my life. There's two shots. It should have... That should be enough to take him down. Yep, just like I said. Oh, great. They're sending out two robots at once. Oh, well, I guess I really will have to wait until they get a little closer. Enough so that I can one-shot them each. Or at the very least, that would be ideal. Excellent. Actually, it doesn't really matter. It's far enough away that I can just reload if I have to. I think I'll. I think this time I'm actually going to try to destroy the robots while stunning the guards. If they get a little too close, I may have to shotgun them. But that's beside the point. Well, you sniper bastard! How about the sniper becomes the sniped? How do you like them apples, huh? Huh. I don't think he liked them apples very much at all. Considering he just tried to snipe me. Oh well. Get a little closer, why don't you? Yeah, you'll get as close as you need. Straight into the pits of hell. Okay, where are the other guys? I guess I should probably focus on the robot, huh? It's the one, yep, it's the one that was about to shoot my face off. Then again, they're about to shoot my face off too, just from a distance where I can't see them so well. There you go, buddy. Sleep forever. Oh, by the way, I actually have the Supply Marker 2, so I guess that's one good thing about this. I get to keep my upgrades that got researched. Because that's how this works. 21 remaining. I've got my work cut out for me, don't I? Hopefully, at least the robots will slow down. Slow down appearing, anyway. Where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. Here you go, 
buddy. Here you go, good sir. They're gonna try to get close. They probably don't have sniper rifles. Nope. They've got regular guns. Not everyone's a sniper. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was actually pretty clever. If you notice, even the music stopped. It's because a flashbang grenade right up to your face, go figure, defects more than just your eyesight. It can actually deafen you. And frag grenades could probably also do something to your ears. There you go, buddy. There you go, schnookums. What do you say, me now? What do you say, me now, huh? Knock it off. Unfortunately, these guys can't be Fultoned. But I guess that's good in a way because it means I don't have to ever go away from the rations. You son of a! Quit doing that! That's annoying. Mildly. There you go. Who else wants some? There's plenty of snake for all of you. If you've got the guts. So tell me, are you a real snake eater? Or are you just a pansy? Well, at least it went off while the cutscene was playing. Sort of. One of them's got a rocket launcher, which is going to make things over so much fun. They got rocket launchers. I see that, thank you. Damn it, why did it have to be in a freaking invisible wall, huh? Bastards. Ah, oh, frick. I hit him. That should have been two hits, I'm about to say. Better not have screwed me over on that one. Frick, where's the rocket launcher guy? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. He can't, really can't aim to save his life. Okay, come on. What I say is I can't aim to save my life. Uh-oh. Good thing I've got rations here. Here you go, bitch. Ironic. The guy with the rocket launcher is probably the least threatening to me right now. They located the request for support. They're sending out a cardboard box as we speak. This time, try not to get it behind an invisible wall this time, Miller. I mean, I know I'm the one who threw it over there, but I mean, come on. If it's, a, if it's behind an invisible wall, it should just automatically bounce into position. In my personal opinion. But then again, what do I know? That may not be very realistic, but having an invisible wall right there isn't very realistic either, so... Sue me. Hey, buddy! Why don't you stand still for me? Okay, screw it. Let's have to go with this guy. And he's thinking the same thing. However, there's only one of me, so... I'm the only one he can go for. Sadistic bastards. Now come on, you freak. You know, this going purely for non-lethal takedowns is actually working quite well for me. I must say. Sent to Mother Base, of course. Because I've already got enough supplies on that front. That's ten left. Seriously, though. It's still a little messed up, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've got four more, I think. Shouldn't be a problem. Actually, uh, five. For not a count. Clearly. Oh, crap. There. At least I got that one twice. Okay, it was six. Or was it? Yeah, it was six, because now there's five. I sure know how to count, don't I? At least that means once I take care of these guys, that's a majority of them. A majority of those ten, I mean. 
Uh oh. Try to take him out before they get too close. That was gonna be a mistake. Ah crap, I can't I can't take someone out when I'm using this weapon. Screw it. I didn't want to kill him, but this jackass left me no choice. Anyone who gets close gets lethal rounds. You might want to keep your distance if you want to live. Just saying. Anyone who gets too close, they're getting the shotgun. I don't give a damn. Non-lethality may be my ideal, but it's not my restriction. I don't care if I kill you or not. So go ahead, run up to me. If you don't value your life at all, have fun. That makes four remaining, as I expected. And two of them have rocket launchers, I think, yep. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Frick. Okay. May as well have a supply marker. I think I can... Please engage your request for a cardboard box. It'll be sent out shortly. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> Not that soon. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this thing. <laughs> well, that was easy. Shit. That was actually a direct hit. Clever bastard. There. Take this. Good thing that one isn't nearly so good at aiming. Ah, shit. Unfortunately, I'm pretty bad at making judgment calls. Well, good thing I crouched then. I think that makes one more. Because it doesn't count it until he's actually down. What do you say to this? Having a little trouble, are we? There, that one's down, I think. Zero. It's done. I may have had to use a few supply markers, but, eh, who cares? Yep, there was still one more of them remaining. And I don't mean guards. La 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 That song is surprisingly catchy. Hello there, you son of a bitch. How's it going? They really did save their best for last, didn't they? It's like a genuine fortress. Also has a lot of little assault rifles. After all, Cocoon Elite AI Attack Craft. Bring him on, dirtbag. To be continued in the next mission. Ooh, will our hero get out of this one? Find out next time. Heroism plus eight. Glad you think so. Supply markers thrown. Plus nine. Neat. Saving success. I got a report in from the RD team. They finished plans for a new hex type plant, and today they're gonna start construction on the first block. Can't wait to finally say goodbye to this scrap heap. Only thing is, we don't have nearly enough GMP. We'll need to recruit more soldiers to get more GMP. 
You know what to do, Snake. Fault and recovery system? Let us go to Mother Base. Comrade? A new weapon has been developed. FIM-43, portable service-to-air missile, will automatically follow locked-on targets so it is effective at attacking moving enemies. Lock-on can be upgraded. Nice. Ooh, I'm definitely using that. You know what, if I use both of them, that ought to make, well, relatively short work of the AI. It's not going to be a fast battle, mind you. Even with these, those things are freaking tanks after all. Let's be real. But it should help immensely. I can't wait. Now, I did also do clearing escape, which is basically don't get spotted. Although, I was able to be spotted a little bit. I was very fast about it. Tank battle. Nah, let's just go for the cocoon. Snake, that's Huey's unmanned weapon, the cocoon. Put it out of commission. Yeah. With the exception of Peace Walker itself, this is the final of the AI vehicles. And, oh, wait, ah, shoot. Hang tight real quick. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me, rushing into battle without even changing my weapons. What the hell was I thinking? I wasn't. And now that I've gotten both of these, though, hoo -hoo, it's a party! Party, baby, party! And thankfully, that also means that it's going to be a little bit more manageable than it otherwise would have been, because when I first did this, and I did a little bit of the fight, I had only had the Law Rocket Launcher. But now both of my main guns are missile launchers. You better prepare your ass if you even have one. Your giant fortress-sized ace. I find it funny how, regardless, in the cutscene he has a rifle. Get rid of the Yeah, fair point. Gotta keep mobile. Which is gonna do me a shit ton of good. Yeah, as if. Look at that. It seems it takes three of them to get it down one bracket of health. So, like I said, this still isn't exactly gonna be easy. Oh, jeez. Shredding me. You're gonna wanna take out that weapon before jumping off. Yeah, maybe. Ah, oh, crap. Although it's core. Got it. I'll try. No promises though. Snake, you should have dropped that the second you fired. No offense. Actually, yeah, offense. Oh, jeez. Idiot. What else is new? On the plus side, the supply marker 2 allows you to throw it, so that's a lot easier. I can actually do this while running, which is so much easier. See what I mean? Uh oh. Commencing area attack. It's gonna be trouble. A lot of trouble. More trouble than you can possibly imagine. Okay. I seem to be behind it. Unfortunately. Oh boy. This isn't good. This really isn't good. Oh look, this is my spot. Creep and reload, please. It take way too long to load, Snake. You really need to learn how to do this while you're in the midst of moving. I mean, you sort of can, but at the same time, you seem to not want to. The second you shoot it, drop it, because it's not going to do you any good to keep it. Oh, shit. 
Shit, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Thank you. Thank you, Miller. Really appreciate it. You're the best, man. Freaking best, for real. Oh boy. That means missiles. Damn you. Even with all this. Okay. Snake, what are you doing? Like I said, you immediately need to lo reload. No problem. At least until I get killed, then it'll be a problem. Just a wee bit. At least it's doing a lot of damage to it. You know, mi mildly. Oh, crap. Crap. I need to be super careful with this. Which is to say, I'm not going to be careful at all. You gotta love the blurring effect, though. Even if it... It's probably a very cheap form because it's the PSP. And of course, you can't really expect too much. But still, the approximated effect is still pretty nice given what it's working with. I appreciate it. Crap. That went through one ration on its own, didn't it? Damn it. You really need to learn, Snake. trying to hide its weakness. Jeez, how many of these supplies am I gonna have to get just for the freaking job? Just for the freaking rations, man. This isn't even about health. I mean, uh, ammo. Legitimately about me being too stupid to actually move around and try to avoid its attacks. I feel embarrassed. I'm not doing very well, am I? You know, for instance. Actually, maybe that's on me. Maybe I gotta press the attack button immediately. Or, you know, the triangle button. That works too. Either way. Either way, baby. Okay, doing a lot of damage. Maybe, God willing, I'll actually have to use the supply markers for ammo. Uh oh. Gotta run. Gotta blast! And I don't mean blast me. Oh. There were some rations that I actually didn't grab. That's a shame. Malfunction, huh? You malfunction a lot more than that, you son of a. Well, apparently that wasn't as homing as I thought it would be. Maybe I didn't home in on it properly. Ah, shit. Nope, that was definitely on target. Unless I just didn't keep it locked on long enough. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad, man. It keeps turning away from me. What the hell's it doing? Really? Interesting. Damn. Okay. I gotta run. I just want to see what'll happen if I actually do get on top of this thing. So, just in case... Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna die before I even get a chance. So what's the point? Okay, I'm just gonna... do this because there is a very big risk here. I... Probably better off just shooting until it's down. But you know. You can be a dummy about this. Oh, well then. I get the feeling it's not quite so defenseless just because I'm got getting on top of it. Yeah, see?
So, uh, you know, let's do it. It's time to take out the final AI unit. Oh, right. You have to actually attack it first. My bad. Hey, buddy. Got it. I'm hopping in there. It's time to take out the final one. Obviously, besides Peace Walker. I don't feel I should have to clarify that, but, you know... Let's do it. Let's grab all of its circuits. I'm ready. Let's do it, man. Let's freaking do this. I'm pumped. Pull out all the unlocked memory yes. boards. Pull out the memory boards. All the unlocked right. boards will have icons over them. Okay. Wait. There we go. You gotta do it all in a column. I'm aware, thank you. I'll take all of them. Got it. This is actually pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, that's all of them. I literally can't pull any more of them out. There's no more to go. Alright, this has been pretty fun. I actually took out the cocoon this time. So, in a way, it's... It worked out for the best, they say. I'm not gonna say it's a good thing that it... straight up had problems, but... You know... Dick it. The cocoon has been cracked. I guess it's a good thing there's no butterfly. Although the Peace Walker is probably the butterfly, if you think about it. And that's the end of that. Cocoon battle! Mission complete! Hails to the yeah, man! Hails to the yay! Yeah. And that's going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like explosives. Once uh, Miller's finished talking, it'll be the end. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out. Have a good one. And have a nice and pleasant day. Right. What do you got for me, Miller? Talk to me, man. Uh, okay. Nothing else to say? Okay, see you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.